Welcome to Malaysia, where a large wedding ceremony managed to draw people of various races including Malay, Chinese and Indians. A wedding is a religious ceremony in which two people are married. Culture, ethnic group, religion, country and social classes all have a different wedding tradition and custom. Most of wedding ceremony involve an exchange of wedding vow by the couple, presentation of a gift and a public proclamation of marriage by an authority figure. Wedding ceremony in Malay are typically festive, grand and celebratory affair attended by a large number of guests. Ceremony in traditional Malay weddings can last several days. During the Akad Nikah, the marriage is solemnized. The wedding highlight is the besanding, which is followed by a feast for family and friends. Malaysian Chinese wedding incorporate both modern and traditional Chinese custom, which make it a very unique. There a reason for calling this wedding Malaysian Chinese. It is because Malaysia is a multiracial country. A Malaysian wedding can refer to a Malay wedding, a Chinese wedding, or an Indian wedding. Indian weddings are celebrated on a large scale. Family and friends get together to celebrate the occasion. Indian marriage are played with a ritual and custom. It is an elaborate concept in every Indian community. As a fact, Malaysia diverse culture and tradition have created an atmosphere of multiracial unity, which will likely distinguish Malaysia as a unique country in the eyes of the rest of the world. Disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus is called COVID-19. Most people who get the virus will have the mild to moderate respiratory illness and get better without any special treatment. However, some people will get very sick and need medical help. People who are older and have health problems like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease or cancer are more likely to get very sick. Everyone can get COVID-19 and get sick or die at any age. COVID-19 has completely changed everything, even when it comes to wedding planning. One of them is not having a big ceremonies. It recalls a lot of beautiful memories that were supposed to be recorded to be lost, making them hard to find. Furthermore, some people who wish to, ma to marry must come up with a good date that coincides with the present scenario, which is quite unexpected. Changes in SOP need caution on the part of individuals engaged in a wedding planning. Additionally, this new normative wedding ceremony has an effect and on how we handle all aspects of management. A few of individuals considering holding a wedding will believe it is difficult to adhere to government regulations. Certain individuals cancel the ceremony and just carry out the appropriate procedures briefly. Ini, mari kita saksikan sedikit uh, paparan yang sempat kami sediakan untuk anda. COVID-19 or coronavirus disease had affected all industries including event industry, especially wedding planner. On 18 March 2019, the government of Malaysia had announced the Movement Control Order or MCO. 
the government also announced all business sectors had to shut down their business during MCO period and the people weren't allowed to be outside of the house except to do important matters in order to control and decrease the cases of COVID-19. COVID-19 made the wedding planner had to stop or cancel their job. Because of this, there are some wedding planners had lost their profit and had to shut down their business. Based on interviews, some of the wedding planner owners said they have to find another job or do food delivery to earn money during MCO period. In order to maintain their business, some wedding planner had to refund the customer's money and also had to lay off some employees. This section has been done by most of companies to ensure the viability of their business. Effectnya kepada impactnya kepada pegawai uh, pengusaha pengusaha ataupun penggiat penggiat majlis perkahwinan. Kalau dikata tentang impaknya memang sangat tinggi ya sebabnya um, untuk, sebagai seorang peniaga untuk kita nak mulakan sesuatu tu terutamanya perniagaan yang uh, bukan niche kita ia mengambil masa. Jadi uh, tak dinafikan memang uh, sangat mencabar tapi saya dan juga pasukan kami ambil a positive ya di mana kalau kita nak menangisi kita nak uh, kita nak force the government to open the industry benda tu tidak tidak berguna saat ini The COVID-19 pandemic forced us to adapt with new norm of wedding ceremonies Lots of new SOP we need to follow if we want to do wedding ceremonies like we can't invite more guests and need social distancing also need to scan my Sejahtera apps to make sure we don't have any symptom or close contact to the COVID-19 patient we can see people nowadays become more creative doing wedding ceremonies like this bride they do wedding ceremonies by drive through This method will reduce the infection of COVID-19 to the people and also save budget by doing wedding ceremony in this pandemic time. Wedding ceremony are still held even in the presence of the COVID-19 pandemic because marriage is a custom and a ceremony that needs to be celebrated if married. Kami panggil jiran-jiran tepi rumah je lah yang berani main hmm, Ada macam perasaan risau ke bimbang Sedih sikit lah, hak lain kita boleh raih macam lebih sikit kan Yang ni kurang sikit lah pada yang lain Dah dua menantu masuk ni nombor tiga dah lah Yang lain kita boleh lah buat macam biasa kan Tapi anak faham ke? Haa anak faham Dekat dalam situasi penyakit ni kan Orang tak berani nak main dengan ni In the future, maybe the wedding ceremony will become normal as usual But for now, we need to accept new norm of making this ceremony according to the SOP